Well, what do we have here? Ah, uh, been a while since I put a video out, so I'm going to kind of give a rundown on this. Um, bought this at an auction last March. Uh, it's July now. Um, paid a little bit too much for it. It's a David Brown 1410. Um, came with a cab, had a cab on it, has a cab on it. Uh, I took it off, um, to get it in my shop. So, when I got it, tractor had a miss. Um, it was a little hard starting, had a miss at, uh, real noticeable at real high, high idle, um, or high rev, rather. <sighs> Went through, diagnosed it, assumed, found out after, wrongly assumed, uh, low compression and number one cylinder. Uh, number cil cylinder two, three, and four had uh, injector sounded fine, sounded like it was firing fine. Number one uh, sounded, sounded off, um, real inconsistent fire and... Um, uh, just didn't sound right. So, assumed bad rings in cylinder number one. Pull the head, tear it all down. Rings are fine. This is piston cylinder number one. Uh, scarring on the cylinder wall. So, and it's only limited to one side. There's a little bit of, I don't even want to call it wear, but on the other side. Anyways, so on the valve side, scarring. Uh, cylinder walls are fine. Um, so pull that one out. Was going to do all new pistons and the whole thing anyways. Pull that one out. Uh, find that problem out and go through and the other ones, all of them are like that. So <sighs> I think there's two things wrong with this. One engine got hot at one point, whether that is actual from overheating, lack of coolant or, or water pump, thermostat, whatever. I don't know for sure. So it's either that got hot and scarred all of the pistons or insufficient fuel which everything that i've been reading insufficient fuel will will overheat your pistons uh, and then you can get scarring from it the cylinder walls check out fine no no uh, uh no problems there uh, pistons are aluminum and block is cast so um we can get cast iron or cast steel. I don't know exactly which one, but it's cast anyways. So it's the wear item there would be your pistons. So that's what's causing that, I think. Either way, it's getting new pistons and we'll go through the cooling system just to make sure everything's all right with it. Injection pump. Go through it. Start pulling stuff off. And there's rust. So this is a Sims Minimec, Minimec injection pump. So this is an inline pump. Uh, there's a cam in here. This I'm going to be going through a little more in depth and I'm going to make another video on that. Uh, I got some seals to replace one in, one in here because uh, the injection pump itself leaks oil because uh, this is an oil bath injection pump. <sighs> I'm thinking there is something caught in delivery valve number one, or these work off of a cam. Essentially, it's like a tiny engine. Uh, they work off of a cam and then uh, there's springs in there and plungers, and then they, they deliver the appropriate amount of fuel for each injector. So I should have checked that before I really got too involved with this, but I was pretty sure it was rings. Um, but now looking back at it, it 
does seem more like it was an injection pump problem with the miss. Um, anyways, just because this, the, the cylinder was firing uh, inconsistently. Um, so, I'm going to post this video. I'm going to make another one, uh, getting involved in this. And then I'll make another one because this is going to get an in-frame. Uh, new bearings, new pistons, rings, all four cylinders. Uh, I'm going to go through the head. Uh, just grind the valves and put that back together. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, I'm going to take the risk and hope that it wasn't an overheating issue with the cooling system and that there's no cracks or anything anywhere. There's nothing, no noticeable cracks or anything on the the uh, deck of the block. Um, got that all cleaned up. Uh, so next video, I'm gonna go through uh, the injection pump first and then going to go through the honing process, uh, piston build process, uh, put the rings on, getting it, getting it, the pistons put back in, um, plastic gauge, the bearings, uh, only doing Conrad bearings, not doing the main bearings, um, just cause you can't, you can't, I'm almost positive you can't do main bearings on these engines cause the block is part of the main frame and there's pieces that are in the way, so you can't get a proper torque on it. So anyways, I've made this video way longer than it needs to be. So this is part one, halfway into the project of the David Brown 1410. For more, I don't like doing this. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, part one of the halfway through the project video. All right.